Welcome back to the channel and to another new episode of 5 Things You Might Not Know. This one is episode number 13, but as always, check out the series playlist linked down below. And let's get into this one with number 5 things that you might not know about 2K20. So, like recent years in the series, 2K20 features some awesome top-notch reversals. But what you might not know about is that Super Heavyweights have their own reversals to running moves such as clotheslines. So if you reverse a clothesline as a Super Heavyweight, at times you'll actually catch your opponent and transition into this year's carry system, which can then lead to some pretty awesome moments, for example a world's strongest slam out of nowhere. Now we're all pretty much aware of the famous Goldberg WCW winning streak, with it being referenced multiple times in the 2K series. But what you might not know is that the game also features unique commentary for when Goldberg actually loses a match. This can be heard at times during the opponent's winning scene after defeating Goldberg. Oh my god, Goldberg loses! It happened when he became 173-1! And it happened again tonight! I can't believe it! As covered previously on the channel, 2K20 features some quality brand new DLC moves that have been added so far via the Bump of the Night DLC pack. What you also might be aware of is that as part of the DLC pack, a DLC tower of Ruzev was more recently added, which sees you unlock this version of Ruzev. But what you might not know is that by completing the tower, you also unlock a brand new DLC move. Now the move we're talking about is the Kitchen Sink Roundhouse Combo, which from the completion of the tower is then available in this year's Creator Moveset. Champion entrances and Money in the Bank entrances can make for some pretty awesome moments in 2K20. But what you might not know is that briefcase and title entrance combinations are actually a thing in this year's game. So if your superstar is both a briefcase holder as well as a champion, then they'll actually enter the arena with their Money in the Bank entrance whilst also wearing their championship. Now it's fair to say one of the better things about 2K20 is the addition of a bunch of awesome brand new title animations, including title victory scenes. But what you might not know is that there is a brand new tag team title winning scene that you might not be aware of. Now this animation has been added for the Rock and Sock connection, although it's been mistakenly labelled as Undertaker and Kane 2, which is why you might not be aware this is actually a thing. This can be seen and used by selecting the second Undertaker in Kane to title motion, and gotta say this one is actually a pretty awesome victory scene. So as always, share me your thoughts on the episode in the comment section down below, stay tuned for more like it, come into the channel soon, and until next time, this has been 101, and I will see you all on the next one.